This series is proudly brought to you by Wind City. So we know what to do when we leave a single pin, but what about when we leave a group of pins? The rule for a group of pins is we always go for the pin that's closest to us. That's the pin we're going to line up for on the approach. So let's start with the group of the one, the three, and the six pin. When our group involves the head pin and the pins directly behind it, we don't move from our strike target. Now let's line up for our strike target. So that's that group of pins. Now let's look at some other groups and see where we need to line up on the approach. Now sometimes we'll leave groups of pins that are spread far apart. These are called splits. A split is when the gap in between the pins is wider than the size of the ball. Sometimes splits are spareable, but other times they're impossible to get because the pins are directly across from each other. So behind me we have the group of the three and the 10 pin. The gap in between these pins is wider than the ball. So we're going to bounce the ball off of the three into the 10 pin. So to do this, we're actually going to aim in between where the six pin usually is. So let's line up for our 10 pin, move three boards back to the right, and then throw in between the third and the fourth arrow. Now, what do we do if we have the big four left? That's the four, the six, the seven, and the 10. There's really no way to spare this, so we're going to pick a side that we're comfortable with and aim for the group of pins on that side. I'm going to aim for the group of pins on the right. Our front pin is the six pin, so let's line up for that. We're going to line up for our 10 pin, move three boards back to the right, and roll in between the third and the fourth arrow. Now let's get out there and practice our spares. 